I've seen better weddings. Head to the wine tent, drink our own weight, and leave her to the guard. No? You're no fun. I don't know. Convince the doorman to leave? If that doesn't work, there must be a way to sow a bit of chaos around here. Are you lost? Wedding's in the other direction. What do you mean? You were the last through the gate. As long as I'm standing here, no one else is getting in. I'll need an explanation. And if I'm not satisfied, you can join Magnifica for lore on the other side of the gate. Huh. I heard rumors about Tanith Intrigue. But having to do that on her own wedding day, I almost feel sorry for her. I... Uh... Need to check on one of the guests. Don't want to see anyone when I get back, if you follow my meeting. Make it quick. Good work. Come, we should speak somewhere private. Perfect timing. I can't exactly climb the palace walls in this outfit. Before the wedding, the groom should be presented to his guests. An old Tanith tradition. Wherever Kosh is, Nicholas won't be far behind. We'll need to keep an eye on him. Avoid drawing attention to ourselves. Everyone seems to be gathering closer to the palace. You lead the way. I'll watch for Nicholas. <sighs> This is a nice change of scenery from the den. First time I've been inside Hubalajad Palace. This place is a bit of a fortress. Let's hurry. I want to get a good look at Kosh. See for myself what kind of spineless marionette would dance for Nicholas. Have you never looked in a mirror? <laughs> Don't I know you? Everyone! I require your attention! This is it. Stay close. Let's see if Nicholas makes an appearance. It is an honor and privilege to introduce our host for the evening. May I present the impending husband of Magnifica Flora, Lord Koss! Welcome to my home. I must thank all of you for joining me on this momentous occasion. That's Nicholas. Please, eat and drink your fill. Soon, I shall speak to you not as a humble merchant, but as a noble of Tanith. Nicholas is Kosh? Not if we can help it, you swit. I should have put it together. Nicholas played us. He played everyone. There was never any kosh to begin with. I don't know how Nicholas reinvented himself as a reclusive merchant lord, but he managed to do so. He could have been planning this for years. Bastard. We need to stop the wedding. Actually, we need Flora to do so. I think this can still work. Let's split up. Learn where she is and how we can reach her. I need to come up with a very convincing argument. I have so many things to say about Zira's outfit. Later, when we're back in the den. Have you met my cousin, Magnifica for Laura? Said not to embarrass her in this little backwater of a town. Very well, I told her. I'll keep my mouth shut by filling it with wine. Did I mention she's my cousin? I don't recall. If you hope to talk her out of this folly, the eight no I've tried. She's usually much better at fending off grasping credins such as this Kosh fellow. Hello. Hmm. Your outfit contains a bit of silver weave, just like mine. Modesty is for the poor. If you were to continue my argument with my cousin, perhaps you could overwhelm her with reason. Say, what's your favorite drink? I can tell you prefer quality spirits, as I do. 
I knew it. And what do you prefer to pair with it? I can tell we have similar thoughts there as well. Yes, perhaps you are the right person to speak with my cousin. I'd nearly convinced her this Kosh fellow is beneath her when she threw me out. She's preparing in his personal chambers, upper level of the palace. Ask the Iron Wheel if you get lost. The servers are bringing food from the palace kitchens. Easy enough to nab their keys. Ah, uh, reminds me of the old days. Speaking of which, let's find Zira and inform her we've done far more work than she. The palace is crawling with Iron Wheel. Lead the way. We'll follow from the shadows. No more warnings. Get out! Who are you? How did you get in here? Magnifica Falora, we came to warn you. Kosh is not the man he seems. He's a merchant lord of Abba's Landing. That's one step above the scum they scrape from ship hulls. Is there any other grand revelation before I call the guards? You are Magnifica Falora. Your political power rivals the Queen of Tanith herself. Do not allow Kosh to diminish you. People say this is not how I imagined my wedding to be. They tell amusing stories of what went wrong, trying to outdo each other's tales. Calling the guards on wedding crashers isn't one I've heard. Why shouldn't it be the story I tell? The Thieves' Guild stole my dowry. In doing so, they upset my standing in tennis. But far worse, they desecrated the remains of my ancestor, Denobia. When they couldn't remove the jeweled crown from her head, they separated it from her body. The merchant lords of Abba's Landing are exceptionally crooked. They buy from pirates who raid Tenneth waters, and bandits who raid Tenneth roads. But plundering ancestral tombs? That is too far, even for them. Kosh, head of the Thieves' Guild? You say he betrayed his own people to steal a dowry for some mad plot to marry a noble of Tenneth? If you are bard sent by my cousin, your imaginations are sorely lacking. Why not say Kosh rode a dragon? With what time? My escort arrives soon to begin the wedding. I have accepted my fate, as you must accept yours. Unless you can produce the skull of Denobia herself, you can tell your fanciful stories to the Iron Wheel. I have indulged this madness for long enough. Magnifica Flora, are you almost ready? The guests are assembling within the palace. Magnifica Falora is indisposed. She'll be ready in just a moment. Do you intend to keep me here? Look around. There's nowhere to go. Unless Nicolas selected a bedroom with a hidden passage. Let's look around. There must be a pattern. Try another combination.
Well, well. A portion of the dowry Nicholas decided not... And this must be Denobia's crown. Nicholas, you've doomed yourself. I knew Nicholas kept trophies from his heists. I used to smooth it over with the guild. One of his eccentricities, I'd say. Becoming Kosh hasn't altered his compulsion. He desecrated Denobia's remains, cut off her head. Now, we return the favor. I'll show Falora what Nicholas really is. She wants Denobia's crown as proof? I'll give it to her, along with her ancestor's skull. Once I have her attention, she'll listen. Oh, it's a very bad idea, but it's the best bad idea we have. Sometimes that's the best a thief can hope for. Wish me luck. I'll have to be... Well, as convincing as Nicholas. Find your way to the wedding crowd. Once Nicholas is revealed as a fraud, escort your date from the palace. I'll see you at the den soon enough. You're in charge until my return. Magnifica Falora, there's something you need to see.